Rumor has it that the only thing that led Marissa Berenson from hopping on a plane that hit the World Trade Center on 9-11 was her sister who took her spot. Her sister's tragic death that day would lead Berenson's life crumbling, always thinking what would happen if things went differently. Continue watching to discover what has happened to actress Marissa Berenson. Marissa's father pushed her to model nude for Vogue. Berenson came from a family connected to supremely cultured Euro aristocrats. She was born to socialite Gogo Schiaparelli in 1947. As a child, she always expressed her wish for being in movies and loved following up with the latest celebrity news. Her bedroom was filled with images of Rita Hayworth, Audrey Hepburn, and Marlena Dietrich. As she grew up, Berenson was always on the move around Europe. Her dream of becoming an actress led her to attend boarding school. She eventually lost all hope of becoming an actress as her shyness and stage fright would keep her from doing anything. When she revealed her experience, she said that school organized plays frequently and all students were to act different characters on stage. However, Berenson would cry and shake the moment she would appear on stage. She explained that she was too shy and introverted to handle the nervousness. Since there was no luck for her at becoming an actress, Berenson's father took her to a ball in New York for her to have a chance to be discovered. At the event, Berenson was discovered by Vreeland, who offered her to start modeling. She convinced Berenson's father to do a photo shoot of Marissa. In the beginning, Berenson was skeptical as she had already been rejected by other modeling agencies, including Eileen Fords. But thanks to Freeland, Berenson became one of the most popular faces of the 1960s and 70s. On the other hand, Berenson's father supported her along the way. This was every 16-year-old's dream as Berenson managed to become famous and rent her apartment in the center of New York. She eventually shocked everyone when she appeared nude in vogue, even Freeland. Berenson was a miserable woman with everything she ever wanted. Whenever she was not modeling, Berenson was out partying and dating celebrities and rock stars. She even managed to get into romantic relationships with rich heirs and even worldwide famous actors. She reveals that her peak in her modeling career was when she did a photo shoot for Vogue in Iran. During this time, Berenson was living the glamorous and bohemian lifestyle. Everything she wanted was accessible to her. But even though she was wild and free of any responsibilities in the world, Berenson was never actually satisfied with her lifestyle. She explained that she always felt like something was missing. This led her to go on a spiritual journey that brought her to meditation. Looking back at it, Berenson said that this totally changed her life and most likely saved her and made her the woman she is today. However, she didn't go through this spiritual journey alone. She claimed that many other people did as well, but were unable to survive through the journey and failed. Berenson continued her meditation journey when she went on a photo shoot in India when she was about 18 years old. This experience led her to get educated about the birthplace of transcendental meditation, otherwise known as Yogi Ashram. Here she met two of the musicians from the Beatles and one from the Beach Boys. All of them ended up staying there for quite some time and went through initiation, eventually becoming vegetarian. During this time, Berenson would meditate and sleep in tiny huts. She spent most of her time socializing with Ringo Starr and George Harrison. By the end of the day, George would invite her to spend time at his campfire, and both of them would sit on the floor and listen to him playing guitar. This experience eventually made Berenson find inner peace and become happier in life. She had severe shakes during her first time acting. Berenson tried out acting by appearing in Death in Venice. After that, she got a call from a producer that told her someone important wanted her to act in a film. This person was Bob Fosse, and he offered Berenson a role in the popular movie called Cabaret. In the first moments during filming, Berenson described that she was so nervous she started shaking badly. Bob Fosse even asked her why her hat was moving up and down. She described her experience to be horrible, even though it was her second movie. Surprisingly, when another director saw her act in Cabaret, he immediately gave her a call and he wanted her to play Lady Linden in Thackeray. During the time of the call, Berenson was in bed suffering from pneumonia. She could barely speak to the director as she was on the verge of fainting from the illness. But even though she was going through the pneumonia, the director talked for hours on end, going through every single detail of what he wanted her performance to be like in the movie. 
her experience in the third film was even more miserable than her past experiences. When she talked about that, she said that she spent most of her days in a drafty castle located in Ireland because that's where the filmmakers were going to be shooting the movie. Here Berenson was all alone and it was one of the most depressing places she had ever been to. Before moving to Ireland, she thought she would have a lot of fun going on rides in the Irish countryside and meeting new people. But in the end, she was left completely alone and indoors as it rained all the time. She even started cooking for the cast and crew just so she could invite them in and take away her sadness. On the other hand, Berenson revealed that the cast and crew members were some of the best that she has ever worked with in the film industry. The director always respected her and never raised his voice. She was so close to getting on the plane that hit the World Trade Center on 9-11. Berenson has never been a fan of negativity and has always lived her life focusing on the bright side. But things went downhill quickly when her sister, Barry Berenson, passed away because the plane she was flying on got hijacked by terrorists and crashed directly at the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. Berenson was also supposed to take the flight that day, but a small change happened just moments before departure and Berenson hopped on another plane. Due to the incident of 9-11, her plane was diverted to Newfoundland, where she stayed there for a couple of days. She explained that she was put in a big stadium along with other passengers where they were given blankets, tables filled with food and medicine. When Berenson picked up a phone to call her daughter and ask her what was happening, she caught her in tears. Her daughter had spent hours tracking Berenson's plane down to see if her mother was in one of the planes that hit the World Trade Center. Berenson soon found out that her sister was not as lucky as she and had passed away from the plane crash. But even though she was traumatized from the event, the actress learned to accept reality and try to see things from a different level of consciousness. She says that she still connects with her sister on a spiritual level and that helps her a lot from not crumbling down. So if you enjoyed this video, check out the next one in the series.